Can marijuana be a good way to relieve chronic pain? The legalization of marijuana in parts of the U.S. has made it ever more popular. In fact, chronic pain is now by far the most common qualifying condition reported by medical marijuana license holders. Like any alternative option for chronic pain, we need to see if marijuana meets three important criteria, safe, effective, and affordable. When it comes to safety, one of the most important things patients should be aware of is the difference between THC and CBD. These are both cannabinoids derived from the cannabis plant that have pain-relieving properties. THC is associated with the mind-altering, high effects you get from marijuana, the euphoria, but also the side effects related to impaired coordination, altered perceptions, anxiety, paranoia, and more. CBD does not act on the brain, and instead mostly works through anti-inflammatory properties. So products with a lower THC-CBD ratio could in theory be safer, since they have more CBD and less THC. For effectiveness, studies done over the years have shown medical marijuana may be effective for treating neuropathic pain, like foot pain from diabetes, or back pain from a herniated disc. Patients have also reported improved sleep in some studies. There are even some studies out there that suggest medical marijuana could help some patients reduce their use of opioids. Unfortunately, affordability can be an issue since marijuana is far less likely to be covered by insurance. So, while there's definitely some promise to marijuana, you need to be careful. Studies are always done under strict supervision and guidance of physicians to be kept at extremely specific products, doses, and ways to use them. There's a big difference between medical and recreational marijuana use. You might not get the results you're looking for if you self-medicate, and you can experience side effects. If you're using or thinking about using marijuana to treat chronic pain, make sure you talk to your physician about it.